Hey guys, welcome to another very exciting video. Now, I'm very much a DIY guy. I do all of my own visual effects. I do my own animations and motion graphics. I waste quite a lot of time making all these little title text animations and overlays myself. However, I recently got contacted by a motion graphics designer out in Brazil called Rubens from Aloha FX, who spent a pretty ridiculous amount of time putting something together called the Create Pack. This is an asset pack for Adobe After Effects that contains over 3,600 visual elements from titles, lower thirds, backgrounds, transitions, social media, call outs, shapes and boxes and icons and a whole bunch of other things. All super easy to use, fully customizable and really easy to integrate and use within your After Effects projects. After trying out an early and yes, free version of the pack, I agreed to give him a hand and get word out to the internet. The Create Pack is now officially available on VideoHive.net and it does cost a little bit of money, but don't panic at $36. Given what you get in the pack, I think it's a pretty good deal and well worth checking out if you are looking to make your videos look a little bit more exciting and professional without a whole lot of effort. Now I have noticed a couple of similar asset packs pop up on VideoHive lately, but in terms of the pure number of elements in the pack, nothing comes even close to what's in the Create Pack. I'm going to drop you a direct link to this pack down in the video description, so do check that out if you're interested. And I want to spend the rest of this video taking you through what's in the Create Pack, explain how to use it and customize it, and show you some of the cool stuff that you can do with it. But now, enough talking, let's jump right into the tutorial. Welcome to the exciting world of Adobe After Effects. In order to use the Create Pack within Adobe After Effects, you first need to install a free extension called Motion Bro. I'm already set up here so I can find this extension under Window, Extensions and then Motion Bro. Now the Create Pack does contain some really clear and very simple instructions to follow on how to get this installed and set up. If you've got any questions or problems, just leave them down below or I can make a separate video on that. Now let's fire up the Motion Bro extension. And this will kind of give you an asset browser. I already have the Create Pack loaded up into the Motion Pro extensions, so now I can browse and use all of these elements that are contained within the Create Pack. Let's quickly have a look through what's included in this pack before I show you how to use and customize all of these elements. Let's jump over to Browse and the Create Pack contains different categories for typography, which are full screen title elements. Then it's got a section on social media, so you'll find tons of social media icon for all of the different platforms in here. Then it's got a category for devices, which are full screen titles, including 3D animated objects for all of the different devices that you might be making videos for. Then it's got a section on titles, which are fully responsive, animated, really nice looking titles. Lower thirds, which are titles that sit in the lower third of your screen, which is why they're called lower third. And again, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here from, you know, more stylistic and modern to quite fashiony and artsy. Then there's a section for callouts, which are these little animated highlighting callouts that you can use to point out things in your video or motion track to your shots. Then you've got transitions, which is a huge collection of different animated, just very sleek little transition elements that you can use to cut from one video to another. And again, everything is fully customizable. Let's collapse this, look at backgrounds. And these ones are full screen animated backdrops and they range from modern and artistic to more organic, more like lava lamp feel styles or marble. They're all animated and they also include an in animation so you can actually make them appear in different ways if you just want to start out a title screen for your YouTube channel or an end card or something like that. So those are all the backdrops. Then in this category I personally really like, it's the bursts category which is tons of these little animated overlays that you can often see in TV commercials or on Instagram. It's kind of very, very pop culture, -y, very cutesy and they're just really easy to use. Let's collapse that again, jump into lines and in lines you'll find a whole bunch of just animated sweeps, like animated lines and animations, little scribbles. Then there's kind of triple lines which do look really nice and sleek, kind of like a rainbow. And then if you come to the very top you'll also find some more pop culture elements like glasses, crowns, little animated heads and all of them have nice in and out animations and they're all animated. 
Let's collapse that again. And finally, let's look at the shape elements. And shape elements includes smart icons, which is a selectable list of different icon animations that you may want to use, as well as a bunch of smart shapes. And these ones are simple animated shapes that you can use for the backdrop or to maybe put some text on And All of them have tons of different in and out animations, so you can customize them in any way that you want. But then there's some shape animations. And further down, you'll find waves, which are these kind of lower third style wave backdrop which you can use to you know overlay some text or just highlight something or just as a backdrop they're really nicely animated but now that you kind of got a feel of what's actually included in this pack let's check out how to use and customize these elements for that i'm just going to grab the motion pro extension kind of snap it to the right side of my preview window right here just so it's a little bit easier to see and let's say i want to create a new title animation i want to create a new card for the opening of my youtube video so let's just create a new composition let's call this one title i'm going to leave it at 1080p so 1920 by 1080 which is full hd there's my little title and let's come into the motion pro extension into the create pack and let's jump into the typography section and let's find a big title here and the cool thing with the motion pro extension is that all of these assets have really nice previews so you can kind of preview them up above so you know exactly what you're going to get and maybe i'll go with this one for now so make sure you're in your composition at the time where you want this element to start and then in the motion pro extension let's simply hit apply this is going to add this element from the create pack as a new layer into your composition. And in our preview window, if we now scrub through, we now have this fully animated title element. Now my composition is a little bit too short, so I'm actually just going to bump this up to 20 seconds duration, zoom out a little bit, and there you can see this is now my title. And on this layer, you'll find an in and an out marker that let you control how long it takes for this title to appear how long it's statically visible, and then how long it takes to disappear. And these ones are all driven by smart expressions. So you can simply drag these markers in. So maybe I only want the title to take two seconds to appear. So now this intro animation plays back a whole lot faster. Then it'll be visible for about eight seconds. And then from eight seconds to maybe 10 seconds, let's just trim this down, the title will disappear. And that's all I need to do to adjust the timing. But let's also adjust and customize this content. Now, the elements from the Create Pack are driven by expressions internally, but those ones are exposed via controls that you can easily access through the Effects Controls panel. With this layer selected, let's come into the Effects Controls. And on this particular element, they're not at this level here because this is a self-contained animated text title. So you actually need to dig into this composition. So let's just double click on that. And here you can see here's the layers that you can customize. There's four text elements on this screen. And then there's this control layer. And if you select this, you'll find a whole bunch of different expressions controls that expose all of the options and settings you have for this element. This then makes it really easy to now fully customize this title. First, let's change some of the text. So maybe the title at the top, I think that's, yep, that's title one. Let's just change this one to say create pack. Title two, which is this pink subtitle here. Let's change that to maybe 3,600 plus elements. Title three is the text down here in the bubble. And let's just select all of that and let's change this to maybe some random Simpson quotes. And then title four is actually this little text here on the right hand side. Let's just say I don't want that at all. So let's just hide the visibility. Let's reselect the control layer. And let's change some of the colors here. So let's just say maybe I wanted this top title to just be a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to scale that in. Then the title color, I'm actually going to change from dark gray to black. I just want that to stand out a little bit more. And maybe I also want to change all of these background colors. I'm, I like the rainbow, but I'm more like a lava -y, reddish kind of person. So let's just change all of these colors here and drag them more into the orange or the reds. Let's also change the backlight here to maybe like a desaturated, fairly bright yellow. And that all looks a whole lot warmer. And I'm also going to change this bright pink here to maybe something a whole lot more desaturated. Maybe like that. I think I kind of like that. And we are fully customized. Let's come back to our title composition. Rewind and play this back. Cool. And that's looking really nice. We now have a fully customized title. 
Now, the next thing that I really like about the Create Pack, because everything is driven by expressions, those expressions will adapt to the size of your composition. So let's say my composition was actually square because I'm making a video for Instagram, for example. Let's come into the composition settings. Let's change this to 1080 by 1080. Hit OK and Hmm, doesn't quite work. I can shrink this composition down, but that's really just scaling it at this level. Instead, let's undo that. Let's dig into this title composition. And now let's change the size of this composition because this is where all the expressions live and they're all driven by that size of the composition. So let's come into the composition settings within our title element from the Create Pack. Change this to 1080. Hit OK. And Everything has adjusted and resized nicely to fit a square format. If I now come back to the title, I now have that title card with all of the animations, but in a format that would be suitable for, say, Instagram. Now, if you are on social media, let's add a social media element to this title. For that, let's pop open the social media category. I'm just going to come down a little bit, and what I want is kind of just some social media for Maybe with these two elements. Yep, I think that looks quite nice. So again, let's come to the time where we want this element to appear. Maybe when the title has finished animating right there. Simply hit apply. And the element has been added into the composition. Let's scrub forward a little bit. And there's the text element. It's looking quite nice, but not where I want it to sit. So let's just, again, there's nothing on the effect controls directly here. So let's dig into this composition. There it is, the title. Let's change the title to at surfaced studio. Select the controls layer, and again, you'll find all of the expression controls right here. And one of the cool things with the Create Pack is that a lot of the icons you can actually switch. So I could change the first one to, let's say I wanted Twitter, but I'm actually quite happy with YouTube, but maybe not Instagram, maybe for the second one I want, yeah, maybe Facebook is probably the next biggest thing where people can reach me. I'm also going to change the text to maybe a really dark gray, for example. I can make this black as well, but I know it's going on a fairly light title. And maybe I'll scale this whole thing down a little bit as well. So maybe that size is all right. Let's jump back to the title. Cool. Let's just move it down a little bit. And let's come to the beginning and play this title back. Cool. That is looking really nice. Now, if you come up in your social media icons, there's also a tool called the Emoji Creator Pro, which essentially allows you to customize and smiley with custom eyes, mouth, shapes, blush, anything that you want. It's really easy to use, though the interface you see up top is a bit more of a conceptual. So if you apply this and drop this into our composition, let me drag the layer over as well so you see the emoji right here. And on this one, because it's not a text title, it actually has those expression controls exposed at the top level. So there's this Emoji Creator Pro right here, which then allows you to select custom eyes, a custom mouth. Yep, that actually works quite well. You can kind of move the eyes up or down. Maybe we'll make it blush as well, or you can give it a heart, maybe not. You can change the color and scale it up, and maybe I'll move this down a little bit as well, so maybe to around about there, and I'll make it appear about the same time as the social media icons. And again, you can move all of these sliders for in and out points around to kind of control how long these animations are. And let's rewind and play this back. Cool, and it really is as easy as that. Let's do something totally different. Let's come back to the project and let me jump into another composition. And this is just a very simple shot of a street down here in Melbourne. And let's just say I wanted to add a title, but first I wanted to kind of transition into this shot. For that, let's come into the transitions and let's just dig one out that we like. Yeah, I kind of like this one. And again, with the timeline indicator at the beginning, let's just hit apply to drop this in. Cool, and there's the actual transition and it has a marker for where we, you would want to place the cut if you're cutting from one video to the other. I'm just going to drag this element to the very beginning, but I'm going to make the footage start right at that cut point. So it's going to start from black and then just kind of use it as an in animation. I'm actually going to change the color. And again, under effects controls, you can customize everything you want. Let's just change the color to maybe a fairly bright yellow. Hit OK and let's play this back. Cool, and that's a pretty nice in transition. Next, let's add an actual title into the shot. For that, let's come into Titles. Let's move up a little bit. I'm going to make the extension just a little bit bigger as well. Let's just grab one of these titles. Maybe this one right here will do. Let's hit Apply to drop that in. Let's again just adjust the timing. I want the title to come in a little bit quicker. And there's the title itself. Now, I'm just going to quickly drop a drop shadow onto this title just so it stands out a little bit better. And let's jump into this composition and again just change some of these texts under controls 
I think I'm going to leave everything kind of the way it is. Come back out to our composition. Let's zoom out, rewind and play this back. Cool, that is looking really nice. Now I can bring these ones in a little bit and maybe I duplicate this transition here. I'm just going to use that as an out transition as well. So once the title has disappeared, I'm essentially just going to transition right back out and right at that cut, I'm going to end my clip. So we're just going to finish our shot just like that. And that was super easy. Finally, let's look at one more example that I've already got set up. And here's a shot of two pigeons in front of Flinders Street Station down here in Melbourne. And I've done some motion tracking, so I've got some animated nulls in this composition. And let's just add some elements and track them into the shot. Now let's have one of these birds talk. For that, let's jump into the social media section of the Create Pack. Let's just use one of these speech bubbles here. Maybe not with a heart, maybe this one here. Let's come back a little bit, maybe at this point, I want that speech bubble to pop up over the bird's head. Let's hit apply on that element from the Create Pack. Okay, let's come forward a little bit and check this out. And it's a little bit too big. So again, let's check the effect controls. Nothing in here because it contains text, it's all nested. So let's jump into this composition. Let's change this text in the controls. Let's make the whole element a little bit smaller. I'm actually going to change the colors to be a blue box and maybe I'll make the text a little bit yellow so it's a little bit more a little bit more seafaring the icon color as well maybe I'll just go with a very similar yellow and again in this create pack you have options to change where this pointer sits maybe I'll have it right at the bottom you can change all sorts of properties for corner radius and customize any way you want let's jump back to our birds let's position this element right over my bird and I'm actually going to link this to my bird track Let's rewind and play this back. Cool, that's working nicely. And just for fun, let's give the other one a hat. And by the way, if you don't want to dig through these elements, you can also just use the search of the Motion Pro extension. So let's search for hat. And here's one I like. So let's just come to the beginning. Let's just hit apply to add the hat into our composition. Let's move forward a little bit. And again, this one has a whole bunch of controls exposed right here. I'm actually just going to scale this composition down move it over the bird's head, maybe change the blend mode over to screen. And again, I'm just going to attach it to the bird itself. And now you can play this back. And it really is as easy as that. Also, while you can convert all of these compositions into motion graphics templates that you can then use in Adobe Premiere Pro, Rubens has told me that he's already working on that. He's essentially creating this pack for Premiere Pro already and it'll be out in a couple of months. So keep your eyes on that if you don't want to dig too much into Adobe After Effects. But there's tons of great elements in the Create Pack. They're super easy to use and fully customizable. Given the amount of content that you get and the pretty low price that they're asking, I I think it's really worth the money. But again, I'm not here to make that call for you. Just go and check it out. See for yourself if it is something that you might like that could save you time or just spice up your videos. And I hope that this video helped you get a bit of an insight in what's included and how to use it. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Also, because YouTube is a little bit weird, be sure to check that bell icon so you actually do get the notifications. If you want to help me out and support me in what I do on this channel, be sure to check out all of the links down in the video description. And as always, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.